NPLRD Network y AIB Electromuebles presentan lo mejor del juego de ayer. Got him swinging. Kept it away from Walsh. So that's out number one. Nice little run going for James. Dallas Graydon would say, athlete. So Machine came in. Got him. Calling the field is overturned. The runner's out. Los Angeles retains their challenge. Swing and a miss. And a strikeout for Otani. His first of the night. Luis Renjifo playing in short right, a shift to the right side, Rojas all alone. So a good defensive play in the outfield, a strikeout, and Duggar making his presence felt. We've seen that, of course, from Otani. That one's driven towards the gap by Duggar. That one's going to get to the wall, and he's got some wheels. See if he's thinking three. Rounding second, he's digging for three. And he is wet. In there, head first. Coming up now with a triple. Trying to get some offense. Best, and he got it just like that. Two down. For that next level show, he goes with. <laughs> Let's just make sure he's okay. A little bit of a grimace. Try to. Duggar swings and misses. Chased the ball a little up. So, two on, two out, and here's Fletcher. Round of applause from all the Angels fans, Otani fans, even the A's fans. The very fast runner and Sky Ball down the line. Swing and a miss. A new career high. It's five on the night. 157 on the season for a trip in Cleveland to take on the Texas Rangers as they meet their neighbors to the north for the first of a three-game series. Astros starters have been fantastic throughout the course of the season. This one deep out of the left field. That one has a chance. It is gone. How about Marcus Simeon not waiting around? He got himself in a really good count, but instead of trying to draw a walk, he realized a rough first inning bounces back with a shot. Of the year, and the Rangers lead 3 nothing. Corey Seager gets himself a fastball from Urquidy, and he hits it into that. As Texas gets a two-run home run from Corey Seager, and after two and a half, our score, Texas. Kind of a dying liner that Simeon had to go far to his left to try to get the ball falls just in front of him and in the right feet Alexis Diaz hits a grand slam to tie it up that's the big one he doubled up on the change up and a lead miss made for boxes it's gone 19th of the year for Garcia we said it earlier he loves to hit against Houston and he's just given the Rangers a 5-4 lead City bring up Jose Altuve. Altuve got that four-run rally started in the fourth inning with a single in the right field. Myers on the go. This ball sent down the line and left. And that will be a fair ball. Myers headed with the As it lined up. Here comes Altuve. Here himself a hit on a 1-2 pitch. And the Astros have a leadoff her on for the third consecutive inning. Here's Kyle Tucker who has grounded out sharply and also been walked on four pitches. That ball hit to left field, hit well, all the way back and off the top of the line. He's refreshed. Martin Perez will leave with his T5. Astros lead 7-5 to five in the ninth, and Ryan Presley on the try and get the final three outs. The 0-2. And that ball high in the air out to left field. McCormick back at the fence. It's gone. Drafted in the fourth round by the Cubs. So Ronald is ready to go. He had eight hits in the center field. No play for Arroyo. And Ronald Acuna Jr. has an infield hit. His ninth. Behind the mound with his hand up on his hip. The Red Sox dugout wants to know what happened. What did he do? Riley is tied with Judge for the league lead and major league lead. All Acuna will score. Riley around second on his way to third. He's going to hit Dansby to first, and Morton a shutdown inning. Good start for Atlanta at Fenway Park. Braves won. Red Sox straight away center field. That one's sailing. Back, back, back. Gone. 4 3 He comes around third base styling. <laughs> That's how he's given by the pesky pole. That is off the base of the wall. Verdugo, a nice play to play that cleanly. And Dansby goes the other way. Continue. Contreras is hitting for third. Don't read it. Smoke to center field. He's been hitting the ball.
Alex doubled off the wall and Leo ripped a two-run homer in the second inning. Five, and that's going to drop in down the right field. It's not in time. You just can't watch us. Duran will lead things off here against Morton. Jaron Duran with his third home run of the season, and he has put Garcia around second on his way to third. Ball up against the monster. They're going to bring him home. The lead. Gansby again. Two strikes. Two out. It is. It's off the wall and left. Rosario will come around. He hit the bag awkwardly, and he's hobbling after making the second out. I think he pulled his hamstring before he go down for Peralta. Well, making the open here for the Tampa Bay Rays tonight will be the newcomer, Jimmy Yacobonis. And this is what he has done on the bat from Yelich to start it. It's off to first. He gets by. Hooked it into left center. And that's going to be Peralta making the cut in. Deep center field, back, way back. It is off the warning track and over the fence. Yelich will score. In the air to right center and warning track trouble. And it is caught. Tyrone Taylor. Return. Runners out. Milwaukee returns their challenge. Brewers, two outings. The one against the Orioles was a start. The one against Toronto, he came in as the bolt guy. Didn't matter. He threw the ball extremely well in both of them. Just two earned runs, giving up in 10 innings. Jams one in the left. That'll get down for base hit for Luis. That helps. One out single here for the Brewers. It's that cutter in on his hands, 83 miles an hour. Not a lot of velocity, but a pretty good spot for it. This back to the play wasn't sure where that ball was as it came back and for a moment it appeared that Tellez might have a shot at him if he didn't hightail it back to first. This one gone home run for Yandy Diaz and the Rays have tied this game on a two run two out home run in the third and that is comes Kevin Cash all of the bullpen. So this becomes a big spot here for Ryan Thompson. He's on to face McCutcheon, double in a run in the first. Line drive base hit, center field. Brewers take the lead, 3-2. McCutcheon's got a couple of runs batted in. Colton Wong has struck out and bounced out. 1-2. Line down the left field line. It is fair and into the corner. Telez is in. Here comes McCutcheon. Bases. That's going to score Peralta. Siri around second. It is going to be correct. Going to the Rays. How about this? Another cutoff and relay. Hunter Renfro this time. A good dress. One hops it into a race and they get the out. Boy, that's the second time on his homestand. One, two, three. They've got Matt Bush on the mound to try and close it out for him against Tampa in game one of his two game series. Brandon Lau was 0 for 3 in the game today. Got him on a hook. Especially with runners in corner position. Rojas gets first look. Got swinging away, fair ball down the line. He got a sinker and punched it into the left field corner. And Rojas pulls in a second, a leadoff double. Josh Rojas not waiting around. Well, here comes Christian Walker. Into right field base hit. And Varsho races to cut it off to keep Cruz to a single. And he will. And O'Neill Cruz, a two out single to right. The right field. Gamble on the move. Gamble. Diving catch, he won't get where they ain't. Well, the Diamondbacks throughout the ball game, as we just mentioned, have had some very good scoring opportunities, but only one run across so far. They've left four runners on base already. And now here's McCarthy with Walker at third in two outs. A little dribbler. Castro has to. A tricky play for the Pirate infield. The base did everything he could, do or die. Davis couldn't hang on at first, and McCarthy, as you see, would have been safe anyway. Ball. Fastball swung on, poked over short, dumped into center field, base hit. <laughs> Real close to where it says 413 out there. Tommy Henry threw six innings. Corner. And two away as Henry collects strikeout number three. Magnificent here tonight. And we go to the bottom of the seventh stretch time in Phoenix. 2-1 D-backs. Two runners move. And on the first one, and it's a base hit in the right. Marte scores. Here comes Walker. These Dodgers have been hot and created some distance between themselves and everybody. 57 and 51. Twins come in. Pitching four. Dodgers here tonight. No, Arias. Arias at 11 and 6. And two. And a strikeout of bats. Barely kept that one off the top of the grass. Freeman takes a walk with two out. Now Will Smith coming up. On the ground and 
short right field. Polanco comes in to throw him out. A two-out walk comes around to score on the Will Smith double. And Celestino. Driven for Lux with one gone here in the second. Walker Turner not out of the woods yet. In the air to center field. Celestino coming on. Muncy straightens this one out. Deep right center field. Gone. Now to Trey Turner. High cheese known as cheddar. Julio's cheese has been very good lately. Got him with a high fastball with the check out for Urias. No walks and a five run lead. Lofted in the five here for the Dodgers against Trevor McGill. That is hit sharply and through. And Freddie Freeman becomes the ninth buddy out. And here is Muncy. That will do the job and then some. On the ground is short. That'll bring home a high fly. Deep left field. Gallo's back. He's had the wall. 15 pitches to get through the first. Here comes Riley Green to lead things off against one of the best in the business. Left handed. There it is. Swing and a miss. Beaver strikes it off to start the game. Detroit spent big bucks to bring in Javier Baez. Give him some pop. Well, he's out looking here. He just took a fastball and couldn't pull the trigger. Beaver got him on three fastballs. Three balls. Swings at the first pitch, drives one to deep left center. And on the run to make the catch on the track is Riley Green. That young rookie center fielder covers a lot of ground. And he or Shane Beaver and only one hit allowed. Here's Javier Baez, the right-handed hitting shortstop. One, two. He didn't call timeout. See, he said, hey, I didn't have to call it. And he didn't, he was probably calling time. Slams one to left. But do will give chase and watch it bounce against the wall. Throw to third on the money to get him. Help out your neighbor. And Harold Castro does just that. Very unusual to make a play like this. But again, he could have just put his head down and watched the play. But he saw it come out of Akil Badu's hand and said, uh oh, I oh, he went too far. The third base umpire, Gabe Morales, rings him up. Candelario's down on strike. On, and there's a high fly ball to left. Near the corner goes Badu, and he makes the catch shy of the warning track. Tagging, heading for home, scoring is Miller, and Hedges gets the job done with a sacrifice fly. The Guardians take a 1 0. Rip fair down the left field line. Juan will score from second. On his way to second with an RBI. Hammer to left there field. Is. Back goes Quan, and he's got it on the warning track. Oh, boy, Javi Baez put a charge into it. But something happened. The wind might have held it back a little bit. He got all right field. That's got some carry. Back is Castro. He won't get it. It hits in the base of the wall. That was a win against the Yankees in New York. The ground ball, first base side, diving, sliding, stop time, France. Over to Luis, covering first on the play, and it's in time. What a play to start things off. Two outs have now been in Tendi in scoring position. Now the one-two on the way to Donaldson, and a swing and a miss for strike him out. There's strikeout number one for Luis Castillo, and that's it for the Yankees. Stadium in that rubber game between the Yankees and Seattle. Cole was lit up for six runs and six innings of work. All six runs coming in the front. What kind of an athlete he is. And it's full now, three and two. And it's in there for a called strike three. 99 on the gun from Garrett Cole. First strike out of the night. Much different from Wednesday. A 1-2-3 scoreless bottom of the first. And there's one away here in the top half of the second. Swing and a strike three. And Duhar goes down swinging. That is strikeout number two for Luis Castillo. So two up and two down for the Yankees. Oh, 97. Top counter for Leffa down Hackett. Third punch out for his. But look at Ben Tandy with the diving catch. The Yankees flashing some leather early. You see Ben Tandy out and left. Good read, good jump. Very nice. Two away. Third strike out of the night for Garrett Cole. Two away here in the bottom of the third. There he goes. Swung out of his throw down. Josh Donaldson swinging a chopper back up the middle. Up to the ball is Frazier. Gets to the back for one. For two, and he is going to be out by a mile. And eliminates Frazier. And Aaron Hicks showing off the, the arm of old. Find an absolute strike in to second base. Not even close. So with King strikeout number four for Cole. And the inning is over. He got low for one as Castillo struck him out back in the second. A weak position. We have played five here at T-Mobile Park. Here is Lamb, could be the final. Here is Santana with a chance to win it. 
Swing and a comebacker right to the mound. Peralta will go to second for one. Relay to first. It's in time. A double play. On out double. Here's McNeil, who hit one of the two home runs. The Mets keep it rolling. Five straight wins, 14 of their last 16. As they beat the field, that's pretty well hit. Half his back slowing down. And wandering onto the track, he makes the catch. Strowman gets out of the end. Right. If it's fair, it's way out of here. See you later. Bring fly ball down the right field line, and it did not hook. It had some room to spare up into the seats. Of Able to collect that one and put the tag down. Good hands by Nico. Let's see him trying to hit the ball on the ground. Wilson comes up easily getting him. That's a good place. High fly ball, deep left field. It's got a chance. Gone. Uh, Say uh, Suzuki a long home run to left. And just like that, this ball game is tied. Number two for Paulo Espino. Out number two. The runners go the three-two. Swing and a miss. He struck him out with the slider. So he went three straight after being behind three and all. And another one to right. I thought the ball hit beyond the basket. The Nats are rounding the bait to the right. And ladies and gentlemen, see you later. We'll complete the call. I mean, that's up. Strikeout number four. There he goes. Here it comes. Strike three called. Fastball right down the middle. Caught McKinstry looking for something else. So it took nine pitches, but Espino gets the strikeout and the side retired. One hit, one in Wrigley Field. One run through five. Holding on. Four three inning ending double. The slice the other way, but he's hit it. Morrell in the score. Ortega. Line drive right field. Base hit. Contreras around, th says launches one to deep left. Half to the Ivy. See you. Carl Edwards Jr., longtime Cub. First save as a net, fourth of his career. Reels have got Kyle Bradish on the mound, making his 13th start, one and four. And the league helps steal a strikeout. A 28 pitch first inning six days ago for Bradish, just 13. The Orioles will get one, no RBIs, Mullins scores. It is one nothing Baltimore. So runner at third, two down. And the number five hitter for the Orioles tonight, Taryn Vavra. On one two, Vavra looks one in the right field, a base hit, he swung there. Low sends it in the air to deep right field, and it's gone. An opposite field home run for Bichette. Number 16 on the season. That ball is belted to center. Merrifield was deep to start, not deep enough. One hop and over the fence. An automatic double for Mountcastle. Who can the gun down Guerrero at the plate, but he couldn't get it out of his glove. And then the... It is a three-run homer for Bo Bichette. Mountcastle belts one. Out there to right field, and it gives the grounds crew a scare. Rigging that once again, Ryan Mel But he just continues to wear out Blue Jays pitching. He has done it throughout his short career so far. 24th double. Tapia is in pursuit off the wall. And the rushman all the way from first base never checks up. And we got a one-run ball game. Party in the eighth. And now root that Odor. Been some good, been some bad. Now we need some real good. Odor, deep right field. Root that Odor's redemption tour continues. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Bottom of the eighth inning, and the Orioles continue to come from behind. Go one moment. Potential hero. That Intimidating closer entrance and. There's nobody as physically intimidating right now as Felix Bautista, who will try to shut down one of the more improbable wins. There is a contender for the Orioles' best win of the year. One more out would put this game solidly near the top. It would bring the Orioles within three from the jaws of defeat. And the cardiac comeback crazy birds have done it again. Look at Heider's just shaking his head. I mean, he is just shaking his head. The high drive to right field. Going back is Soto. At the warning track, he's at the wall. And he leaps. Adios! Pelota! Lamont Wade Jr. plants one over the right field wall. And Soto hit his hand at the top of that wall, making the leap. And the glove fell off. And, but Lamont Wade Jr. rounds the bases with another home run. 
on the ground. That ends the inning. Now it's kind of coming on three and six with a four ERA, making that 18 start of the season. Really had a nice July. Top covering, got a double play. Nicely done by the Giants there. So Cobb works around the walk. We go to the second one. Out number one of the second inning. Swing and a miss, and Crawford strikes out. That's the first strikeout for Joe Musgrove in the night. It's one nothing Giants. That one, that sinker, right back to the inside corner. Beautiful. Two first pitch, and that one towards Sheep right field. Juan Soto has left the yard. First time in a Padres uniform. The Soto shuffle will make his way all the way around to tie the score one to one. Welcome to San Diego. One high and deep. Left center. Yaz on the run. At the wall. Leaps. He's got it. And the side is retired. What a catch. Just in front of the Padres bullpen in deep left center field. He went up and he brought one back. That's a That's with the runner in scoring position with two outs. Swing and a miss and Yastrzemski strikes out. Strikeout number four for all center field. Yastrzemski moving over to right center. Will make the catch as Machado tags. Takes the catch and ends the top of the seventh. That's seventh inning stretch time. It's 3-1. Padre center field on the run. It's Yastrzemski not going to get there. Gets down. Up and over. And that will cost the Padres a run. They do. Up and deep and far into the San Diego night. And walk it on. Three-run home run for Manny Machado. Padres win it 7-4 to four in spectacular fashion. You know, when you, you know, the only way to beat an ace is your... This one's out toward left center field, hit pretty well, turning and looking, and that one bangs off the wall and ricochets into center field. Still got a glove on it, but the collision caused the ball to fall, and Bowman ends up at second base. That should have been out number three. I uh, I can't remember the last time a second baseman went out that far. De La Cruz was kind of like, well, for a lot Down the left field line, and that'll make it hurt. Bowman will score easily. JT going to second. And the Phillies take a one nothing lead. But infield hit, the Phillies are rolling here in the second inning. We got that here. Like the runner. Shot toward the gap, right center field. That's going to hit on the grass and go to the wall. Headed toward third base. Burdick, he'll be held. Strikes. And Zach Wheeler pitches deep right field. Way back at the wall. Goodbye. J.J. Blade has tied it up with his second major league home run. We got the whole Blade section out there, right? JT Romuto will leave things off here at the bottom of the fourth inning. Romuto's been hot. That is a towering shot deep down the left field line toward the pole. God, a home run for JT. 13th home run of the year. The Phillies take a 2-1 lead. Hey, well, how hot is he? How hot is JT? That's a beautiful thing to see. What a way, here's Gene Segura. That ball is drilled deep to left field. It is Gene's first home run since his return from the I.L. It's a three. Well, now Kyle Schwarber's up. He's one for two. Rain starts to fall a little harder. That one's out to center field. On the run is Burdick. It's over his head. And a one hop off the top of the wall. Center field. And then Marsh is under it. Two steps from the track, makes the catch in the end. The Phillies have closed the door on game one of the Marlins series. They've now won. Last 26, hitting 277. And there's a sharp single to right. And now it's first and second with one out. And it brings in C.J. Crone. This ball hammer, take a good look. You won't see it. Three run, first inning check. For CJ Crow. Great, but makes the play. Boy, just went this in time. Adam Olsen might be another hit for Iglesias, another run for the Rockies, and Blackman will go to third. Third and Rogers at the plate. Nolan's going to have a tough chance. And save it first. There's your 13th hit. 7 0. For Rogers, he's going to get a green light. Play. Not going to get it. Two up double for Crow. And the rally is really up. Oh, oh boy, this ball's catered to center field by Gritchick. This one 12-0 Colorado. Port on. Completely out on them. That's your basic not in hits. Bring up Paul DeYoung. 
Goodbye. He's done it again. Paul DeYoung with a two-run blast. Way out of here. Wow. DeYoung with home run number of shots, but you don't want to give extra traffic to the Cardinals team. The Cardinals will put the leadoff man on there. Jake Burke comes out of both and he hits Paul DeYoung. And now the bases are loaded for Andrew Kisner. The 2-2 pitch. Hit up the middle, base hit, Kisner. Two runs will score. It cuts into the Rockies lead to make. Start number 15. First pitch in the ball game. Just two out. Now it's the pitch, he gets jammed across. The Oaks and a Sox fan has a souvenir on the road. It's one nothing. That's what happens when, and there it is. It's a slider. It's middle out. Pasquantino, the D. He's right at the beginning of his career, but he can hit it. I've been a run with two outs in the second inning and hit the ball hard there, out there, and they didn't like it. NPLRD Network, la plataforma de proyección y manejo de los nuevos prospectos y futuras estrellas del béisbol. Suscríbete a nuestro canal de YouTube, NPLRD Network Off. Síguenos en todas las redes sociales, NPLRD Network Off.